Hello, beautiful people. Thank you all very much for tuning in. It's Beer Monster O'Clock. And uh, today I've got a beer to review from the Fornbridge Brewery, which I picked up from Asda for two quid. And it's also in the four for three deal, which takes that price down a little bit, which is always handy. No one having any bloody money at the minute. It's a 500 ml bottle, this one. Of course, Fornbridge are more known for their sort of craft beer and stuff like that now. Uh, but um, this was actually the first ever beer that they made back in 2005. And it's, uh, it's a bitter style beer, like an English bitter style beer. Here's a little look at your bottle. Uh, it is called Lord Marple's Bottle Conditioned, which is a very, very good thing. Uh, classic bitter. 4% ABV, this one. You know, I'm looking forward to trying this. I never tried it before. I didn't even know it existed until I see it in the shop. <laughs> uh yeah, let's crack her open and get on with, shall we? Let me know if you've tried this one, guys. What do you think of it in the comments? Let's see if we can get a hit short. Oh, I don't even know where that went. Um, let's get it in the glass, see what she's all, all about. Yeah, I quite like Thornbridge and their craft beer. Well, I've kind of taken a bit of a backseat from craft beer lately because it's a bit too expensive. I will do them every now and again, but most of the ones I'm picking up are from sort of home bargains and stuff like that, to be honest with you, when I can get them on the cheap. Just, I just can't afford to be paying three quid for one can of beer, three or four quid, and that's supermarket prices. If you go to the bottle shop, they're just insane. And uh, I just can't warrant it. Too many kiddies to feed. So, uh, you know, I'd prefer to try and find cheap little bargain beers and stuff like that, really, because that's what I can afford to do at the minute. Uh, anyway, beer's in the glass. There she is. It's a lovely colour. It does look like an absolute stunning-looking beer, this one. Got nice bits of sediment, which you're probably not going to pick up on camera. I'll give it a go. But there's nice sediment in that glass from the bottle conditioning. You can see the sort of yeast just slowly making its way to the bottom. Like, like tiny little bits of micro sediment absolutely everywhere in this one. Uh, Colour-wise, kind of a coppery, goldeny colour for me. I'm going to go coppery golden anyway, but you can see it. You can make your own mind up on that. Uh, the nice white head has dissipated a little bit. But uh, let's check out the Aranda and see if it's any good. Mm. Little bit of toffee malt. It doesn't have a massive aroma, actually. Citrus, some citrus fruits. Some sort of like citrus pill for me as well. Yeah, it's quite light on the aroma though, it really is. But they don't smell too bad. It doesn't know off sort of putting flavor, uh, smells or anything like that in it. But yeah, let's chuck her down the neck and see if she's any good, shall we? And uh, hopefully it's all right, because it's not a bad price in the four for three deal, is it? Two quid. So, uh, without further ado, cheers, everybody. Bosh. Hmm. I'm gonna go again. I ain't quite made up my mind yet. <laughs> but I got a lot. I do like it. It's a little bit thin on the mouthfeel. Again, I had that problem with the last beer I tried, the last beer I reviewed. Not quite as thin as the last one though. This is a little bit thin. It is bottle conditioned, so it's got nice flavour in this. Because uh, for, the, for the ABV, it's only 4%. Really good little session bitter for me, this one. I'm getting like, some um, toffee and caramel malts at the start. It's more of a toffee malt, when, but like with some caramel after it. It's got kind of a slight burnt taste to the caramel for me. Mm. <sighs> But it is nice. I'm getting like some citrus peel of some sort. I think it's orange, like orange zest. Let's go again. There's like kind of a dryness after that initial malty hit. It's like a leafy dryness. <laughs> Get a sort of leafy, like hoppy leafy taste with the dryness. I just could say earthy. Earthy is the word, isn't it? It just reminds me of leaves. Um, 
yeah, it's, it's quite a nice beer. It's, it's nothing crazy going on here. It's just a good session bitter. Um, very easy drinking. Uh, there's enough flavour here to sort of not get bored of it. Um, but, you know, it's 4%, so it's not going to sort of blow you away or nothing. But as far as the session bitter goes, I, I rate it. I think it's all right. I really do. I was to criticise this beer. The body could do with up in a notch. And the flavour could do with just just up here a little notch. I know it's only 4% ABV. But I just think it could just be slightly more flavoursome. Because the flavours are really nice in this beer. And I just feel like I want a bit more of them flavours. Because, you know, just because they, they taste good. But they're just not quite out there enough. But yeah, that is being a bit nitpicky because they're still there and they are really nice. Uh, but when something's nice, you want to taste it a bit more sometimes, isn't you? And uh, perhaps uh, this is lacking just a little bit in that department. Uh, but yeah, it is really nice. It's really easy drinking. As you can see, <sighs> smashed it. Yeah, that's a nice one, that is. Got kind of a moderate bitterness on the end as well and it sort of lingers for a little while that bitterness not for too long um but it's a nice linger yeah, i do not mind that it does say on the back here uh first ever Formbridge beer made in 2005 named after mr marples a uh, um the owner of Thornbridge Hall, it pours an attractive mahogany, bringing full flavours of honey. Didn't get no honey, caramel. Yeah, I got that. Just a light bitterness on the finish to keep it balanced. I'd say more of a light to medium bitterness for me. It was, you know, definitely more than a light bitterness for me. Uh, this bottle contains fresh live be uh, beer, bottle conditioned to create natural carbonation and flavour you'd expect from a pint of cask in the pub. Please pour carefully to leave the yeast in the bottle. Who's gonna do that? You want that yeast in there for that extra flavour, didn't you? I like seeing it all floating about and all that, you know. Um yeah, let me know in the comments. Do you pour a beer carefully if you know that it's bottle conditioned? I mean even things like proper job and that. I love just you get loads of crap in that beer, didn't you? I like just chucking it all in there and watching it all float about. You know, I think it improves the taste so yeah, that's just me. Yeah, thanks for tuning in, guys. Smash that like button if, if you enjoyed this re uh, review. Let me know what you think of this beer if you've tried it. And uh, I would recommend you do try it if you've not. I want to give it an 8 out of 10. I like it. For what it is, a session bitter, it does the job, like I say. A bit more body and uh, might even do better and a bit more flavour. Thanks for tuning in, guys. Till next one. Bye-bye, darlings.